we build our solar screens with two densities, the 80% and 90% densities. Basically what 80% and 90% mean is that it's either providing 80% shade or 90% shade. 90% shade is the densest, darkest fabric that's out there. 100% shade would be what you would get underneath your patio coverings if you have a roof for your patio covering. We tell people that if you get four hours or more of afternoon sun, that it is those windows that you want the 90% fabric for. For the rest of the home, you would want the 80% fabric. While the difference between an 80 and a 90 is only 10% difference in shading, the opaqueness difference is significant. And what I mean by that is, with an 80% solar screen, you have 20% opaqueness. With a 90% solar screen, you have 10% opaqueness. So going from 20% to 10%, going from 80% to the 90% solar screen fabric, there is a considerable difference between the two. So the 90% does make a bit more difference than the 80%. People often ask us, well, if the 90% is better, why don't we just put the 90% on all of our windows? It's not needed. The 90% is only needed for the windows that get blasted by the sun. That's going to be your west afternoon windows where you get four hours or more of afternoon sun. Come summer, the days are longer and that west side gets a lot more sun. Therefore, that west side needs that extra protection. Those windows need all the extra help they can get, hence the 90% fabric. 80% fabric is a phenomenal, wonderful shading product for the rest of your home. People also ask and worry if the 90% solar screen is going to make it really dark inside their house. But that's not the case. Now it is a case if you wrap your whole home in 90% fabric. But for the windows that get a ton of sun, those windows get a ton of light. Those windows are the windows that you would put the 90% fabric on. Come afternoon when that sun is hitting those windows straight on, you're going to be amazed at how much light does come into the home. But the rays are diffused and the rays are not hitting the glass. So the heat doesn't find its way into the home, but you do still get plenty of light. Additionally, something that's really important is during the day, you're going to find that you can open your blinds because during the day, people can't see in. They can't see past the solar screen fabric to see into the home. So you will be able to open your blinds. And when you open those blinds, all of this light is going to be coming into your home. So it's going to be great. The comparison that we get from people, what I hear most often when I put the solar screens up is, wow, I really expected it to be dark in here. But instead of being dark, it just feels like it's a cloudy day outside. The other concern that I get from people is, can I see through the solar screens? Well, the 80% fabric, you can see through about the same as when you're looking through that of your bug screens. You really can see through it exceptionally well. The 90% fabric, you do have a little bit of distortion, but it's not all that much. And on our website, under our Q&A, our questions and answers page, we have a lot of pictures there showing side by side the 90 and 80 and we have some other pictures that show you what it looks like looking through these fabrics. I encourage you to look at those pictures. The key to why you can see through our fabric so well is it's our particular fabric that we use, the Suntex. It has an even weave to the fabric. Because of this even weave, you can look through it really well. Now, there are a ton of other fabrics out there, and I mean a lot of them. And when you put them up, you just cannot see through them very well. You can see through our 90% Suntex fabric better than you can see through some of the 60 and 70% other fabrics that are out there that have poor visibility weaves. The 90% fabric does have a darker, stauncher look to it. And take a look at these pictures here, the pictures here in our questions and answers page, where you'll see that people have chose to put the 80% fabric on the windows that have blinds behind them, and then the 90% fabric on the transom windows above. Now, we are not a big fan of this kind of look because to us, there is a discernible difference between the 90 and the 80. But you can get away with this look if 
you have, say, 10 windows on the front of your home, and you do some of them in 90 and the other others in 80, but those some that you do in 90 aren't right next to the ones you're doing in 80. You'll know the difference, but no one visiting your home would ever know the difference.